You're damn right I've got a big smile on my face. I've been waiting for this one. Three words, eight letters. Say it and I'm yours. Here we go! <laughs> Thank you very much, Mario. Thank you very much, Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano confirming that Manchester United have agreed a deal with Ajax for Eric Ten Hag to become our new full-time manager. It's the announcement that we've been waiting for. It's the three words that we've been waiting for. And I'll tell you what, in my opinion, oh, well, you know it's my opinion, it's the appointment that I've been waiting for. Eric Ten Hag is going to be Manchester United's next full-time manager. And I am over the fucking moon. I've had my Dutch energy on the wall there for a while now. Ruvan Nistelrooy, he came through. Clinical finisher that he was. Let's find out what Eric, Eric Ten Hag can do as our next full-time manager. In my opinion, this is the first appointment that Manchester United have made post-Fergie managerially that another club will look at and be jealous of. Now, some of you might say that Mourinho was in that category, but if we're talking best in class, Mourinho, he had had his best years before he came to Manchester United. Nobody was jealous about David Moyes. Uh, Louis van Gaal, when he came in, a great manager, but a manager who, uh, again, his, his best years were before him. And nobody was jealous of Solskjaer. It was, it was the allure of him being an ex-United player. But Eric Ten Hag, that man right there, I can't wait to see the official photo of that. I can't wait to see him officially become Manchester United's manager. And I tell you what, I've got a massive, massive smile on my face. Back in November, when it was the whole Solskjaer reign was coming to a, a, a horrible end, especially someone who was such a supporter of Solskjaer as myself, I saw Ralph Randnick coming in in an interim role and that man right there coming in as our next full-time time manager as, in my opinion, the best possible short-term and long-term solution for the club. And we've only gone and fucking done it. Man United have only gone and made, in my opinion, the correct decisions, the smart decisions, the footballing decisions for our football club. Manchester United operating as a football club, and now we'll have Eric Ten Hag at the helm. Look, if you look at what he's done at Ajax, he's on the verge right now this season of winning a, a third domestic double. 2018-19, 2020-21, he's won the Dutch Cup and the Dutch League with Ajax. He's on for making it three this season. If he can beat PSV in the final and hold on to that lead they've got at the top of the table. And in my opinion, I'm just... I'm over the fucking moon about it. I'm over the moon. I, there's no way I can describe this other than just a big beaming smile on my face. All of you followers of the United People's TV will know that I've been pushing hard on the Eric Ten Hag propaganda for good reason, for good measure. I just felt that he was the right man to take us properly forward. And as I said, we've just appointed a manager there. Well, not officially, but, you know, that will come in time, probably as the season progresses, goes towards the end. Given that Ajax is still involved in a, in a title race. We've appointed a manager that we can now put in that best-in-class category. And now we need to bring in the players that suit that. We need to bring in the staff to support him, to make sure he's got the network at Manchester United. It's one thing that everybody's worried about with Ten Hag. You say, look, he had that whole support network at Ajax. He had a Mark Overmars. He left. He had Van der Sar. Well, if Edwin, if you don't mind coming in a year or two, maybe joining the Ten Hag again, that could happen. Why not? Eric van der Sar said that, you know, at some point he'll, he'll come to United. Why can't that be in a year or two? Let's, let's get excited about that further down the line. I'm just, I can't stop smiling at the fact that that man is going to be our manager next year. You know, some of you on this channel, some of uh, fans everywhere were like, you know, Pochettino, X, Y, Z. And it was, a, it was a massive to and fro. And it was a huge bit of indecision inside Manchester United. Tons of ex-players that the club consulted on it. I don't know whether, how much they consulted Randnick on it, but they consulted ex-players and all of them were saying Poch and we were like, we don't know whether it's going to be Ten Hag, but it is Ten Hag. Here we go. Yes, Mario. Yes, Fabrizio. Those famous three words. One more time. Here we go. Yeah, I imagine I'm going to keep that on the soundboard for a long, long time. We've been waiting for it. It's come. It's official. How excited are you? I'm, as I said, I can't explain in words how excited I am. This, this supersedes anything that happened uh, with Solskjaer or Mourinho or Van Howe. As I said, they were all brought in for different reasons and for different times. And in my opinion, none of those managers felt best in class at the time that they were brought to the club. And no, no fan of another club looked at United and went, you know what, I'm dead worried about it. Mourinho to a certain degree. But we all knew that when Mourinho came in, it was like getting in bed with the devil. But this is like the Dutch angel coming in. Absolutely beautiful man that he is. And I can't wait to see what he can do at Manchester United. Hey, you never know. Maybe he's going to bring a couple of players in from Ajax. Maybe Anthony. Maybe Timber is a centre-back. Maybe Gravenberch get in there and swoop ahead of Bayern Munich. I don't think Gravenberch will happen. I don't think all three will happen. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure any of them will happen. But let's see what goes on. <sighs>
the, the, we, we can now look towards the future and go, you know what? Yeah, man, let's start getting let's start getting excited about United again. Let's let's start thinking about properly thinking about this future as a football club, man. For too long, the Glazers have been operating. They're still going to operate. And that's still a big fear of mine that maybe in a couple of years time, I'll be back here looking far less happy after Eric Ten Hag ultimately falls foul to the same things that Mourinho fell foul to, that Van Hal fell foul to, that Solskjaer fell, fell foul to, and uh, Moyes to a certain degree, although Moyes was just a bit crap. I hope, fully, fully hope that I don't have to have that conversation in a couple of years time. And that this is a line in the sand, that this is a moment and a time when Manchester United, in a few years' time, we can look back and say, you know what? That was when it changed. Radnick coming in as interim manager, followed by Eric Ten Hag as our full-time manager. That's when Manchester United started to operate and modernise as a football club. Who knows? It might not work out with Eric Ten Hag. But if it doesn't work out with Eric Ten Hag, there'll be plenty of reasons for that but not because we appointed the right manager, the wrong manager, sorry. Because in my, in my humble opinion, Eric Ten Hag is the right man. We have made the right choice there to go with him over Pochettino. Pochettino, I'm sure, would have been a good manager for Manchester United, but it was that whether it's the mystery of not knowing what Ten Hag can do in the Premier League or whether it's just saying, you know what, he's just a fucking good coach. I've said this to you before on United People's TV. If there's one of the managers out of Poch and Ten Hag that's going to have a book written on him in 10 years, it's going to be about Ten Hag and the footballing philosophy that he leaves behind. United will now play with a true identity. It won't be a case of chopping and changing week to week. It's not working. Let's tweak it. No, it will be Ten Hag coming in putting his system on Manchester United. And if the players fit it, the players will stay. If they don't fit it, the players will be booted out of the club and we will replace them, maybe, with players like Anthony, who can fit inside that system. Like, whether Anthony comes in or not is a bit by the by. But Ten Hag has his philosophy, his identity, a true proper philosophy and a true proper identity. And it will suit Manchester United fans. It's what we want to see, that exciting possession-based build-up. Jogger Benito, whatever you want to call it. A little bit of Cruyff, a little bit of Guardiola, all mixed up together. What do you get? You get Ten Hag. That's what we're all hoping, eh? But maybe I'm going overboard. Maybe I'm too excited after hearing those three, those three words there. But I can't help it. And I've got a big smile on my face because I've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this because ah, we, <laughs> we've got that man in. This sounds a bit sad, actually. What about this one? Is, it, is this a nicer one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. Eric Ten Hag as Manchester United manager. You know what my reaction to that one is? I'm hitting the soundboard left, right, and centre. You can tell. You can tell I'm a bit excited, man. What can I say? As I said, for me going in November, me saying you know Ten Hag would be the right man and, and Randy would be good in the short term. Just never in a million years. United have taught me to be pessimistic as a fan. They taught you to be pessimistic as United fans because we just haven't made the right decisions. We've only gone and done it. We've made the right decision. We've got Ten Hag in after those. Here we go. Famous three words from Fabrizio Romano confirms that a deal has been reached between Ajax and Manchester United. I can't imagine there'll be like an official announcement before the end of the season. And as you may have tell, I've recorded this before I go away for a few days. So maybe this is a pre-record. Maybe not all of this video will be 100% accurate, but there's no way that I couldn't record it before I left just in case it did happen when I was away. So how excited are you about seeing that man in the dugout next season maybe with Anthony alongside him maybe with the Timber alongside him maybe with the Gravenberch alongside him maybe none of them alongside him maybe with Mudenstein maybe with Van Persie in that sense we don't know everything yet but one thing we do know is it's going to be Eric Ten Hag in the dugout I'm looking forward to seeing him speaking perfect English and him getting United playing the Ten Hag way it's not about the United way anymore it's about the Ten Hag way bringing it into United and changing United and taking us forward first and foremost as a football club. Let's re-establish that identity under this man. How excited are you? You let me know in the comments below. I'm over the moon. I've got a big smile on my face. If that doesn't deserve a like on the video and he doesn't deserve a like on the video, then nothing will. But you let me know how excited you are about Eric Ten Hag after Here we go. those three words. I'm definitely going to keep that on the soundboard and use that again. Yeah, baby.